Your girl needed to take a trip out of the U.S. It was definitely well needed. I needed to explore and learn more about myself and then also about other cultures as well. So why not go to Merida, Mexico? Now, of course, the closest airport to Merida is Cancun. So those who are familiar, of course, you need your passport. You need to travel and, you know, get through customs and whatnot. But it was very beautiful starting off on this main highway, going past an agave farm. It was really, really beautiful to see. Now, everything here is different. Now, their highways have a lot of different stops on the way where you can kind of stop to get food, uh, stop to shop in case you wanted to buy something like these lovely items right here. Also, it is just a great place to explore literally now of course you have to have pesos the more that you go inland they do not accept usd at all so most of these places that we're looking at right now accept pesos and pesos only there are some locals that will willingly trade with you but i made it here now this was the main attraction the seventh wonder of the world i definitely had to go here and see this this is the opening to the seventh wonder of the world and those are the prices don't let them scare you that's all in pesos but it is chichetan itza and this is one of the seventh wonders of the world i hope i didn't butcher that but it is one of the famous mayan pyramids it is a beautiful place as you can see we kind of made it through the center of the park where there are a lot of kiosks where they have you know different items and stuff that you can buy they do have plaques all around the park to kind of give you uh, background information this is the map of it it was fairly large so i would definitely say if you plan to visit wear some comfortable shoes this is what I came here for. Just look at that. It was so many people. And look at that beautiful pyramid right there. It is still intact. It is still beautiful. That's me, of course. I had to take a picture in front of it. I don't know why she took a video, but hey, it is what it is. I really enjoyed it. It was really amazing to look through. Looking at this, now this is where they played their soccer. This is like one of the arenas. It's very, very large, as you can see um it's well preserved that's all i can say like this is the best that i've ever seen anything well preserved especially for a historical site for standing centuries long it's so beautiful i definitely recommend for everybody to visit part two coming up next